Hey everyone, I'm Jack. I have a final update on the Hawarthia cuspidata bloom, an update on the Kalanchoe donkey ears, and a bloom on another Kalanchoe that I don't think I've showed you before. First, let me start with the Hawarthia cuspidata bloom. Uh, if you remember seeing the last video I did on this, let me bend this down so you can see it. The tip here um, was a bud and I wasn't quite sure if it was going to turn into a flower or if it was going to kind of petal out like these little waxy ones that I described in the other video. And let's see, can you see that? So the stalk now is about 12 inches tall and I'm having to bend it down because it's so tall and I can't tip the camera up because I have a light directly above this plant. So if I can get it to focus, what's happening is this bud are these little flowers kind of just tucked up together like this. And one by one they open up, bloom, uh, and then eventually, let's see if I can move it here, eventually dry up like here, um, and then they just fall off. The lower leaves have fallen off. So it's not going to turn into what I would call a normal flower um, with any kind of color. Now it does have color, it's you know white with a little green stripe. I just wasn't sure if it was going to turn into you know like a quote unquote normal flower. Um, but it is just these waxy little leaves and let's see if I can tip this down so you can see. And like I said they just eventually one by one open up, stay open for a couple of days and then dry up and fall off. So I think that's going to be the final update on this little bloom. Eventually I'm going to cut this stalk to save energy on this plant and get it ready for transplanting and separating these babies. But I just wanted to show you this one last time um, in case you had never seen a Haworthia bloom like I hadn't. Um, it just, you know, it, it's, it's very different looking um, and that's kind of what it does is it just opens up each one um, and then eventually they just dry up and fall off. So I just wanted to close out that um, update on this Haworthia. And, you know, it's just going to go back on the grow rack and just get ready for its transplanting. Now about these Kalanchoe donkey ears. What I did after I made that last video where I showed the powder on them uh, that I thought was the powdery mildew is I took some isopropyl alcohol um, and some cotton balls and some cotton tip swabs and I wiped off uh, as much of that powder as I could on the leaves. Uh, both you know this side and the underside and I had separated all these um, over in the corner with their own light uh, and took them out of the cold area they were in a kind of a warm corner um, a little bit of like an isolation ward is what I was calling it and so far the powder on these babies has not come back it has a little bit in here um, but for the most part all these leaf surfaces that powder is gone with the rubbing alcohol. It didn't seem to affect it at all. Um, some of them have kind of come back and I think I'm just going to reapply that and try and you know keep these at bay. But these babies look a lot better than they did in that other video. Now the bigger one, the mother in the back, is a little different story. I took scissors and I sanitized the blades with some alcohol and I cut off all the leaves um, that were just infested with that white powder. I left this one here in an attempt to have it photosynthesize, um, but picking it up carefully, it's you know it's floppy up here where it connects. So I'm pretty sure this leaf is dead or going to die. And uh, I'm waiting now to see if more leaves will come up out of these stalks. Um, I think that they might. The stems themselves look pretty good. Um, there, it is firm, and there's no you know uh, mushy spots or you know it's not like rubberized like. This is, you know, how I would explain this is kind of like rubbery. So I'm, I'm just hoping that in time, um, with some light, a little bit of warmth, um, and I'm going to kind of hold back on the water a little bit more and see if I can get these uh, leaves to come back out on the mom. But as of right now, it just, it doesn't look very well. But I'm pretty confident that these babies will snap back um, and do pretty well. I think when it gets warmer and I can get these back outside, I think that's going to help a lot. The one thing I have learned about these Kalanchoe in particular 
Um, having them cold in a room when you're trying to induce dormancy in cacti is not a good idea. Um, I think that they should have been kept warmer um, and possibly had a little bit of, you know, more of a fan on them to, to keep that circulation going. Um, but being this my first time ever growing, actually any of these plants that I've shown you, um, it's kind of a learning experience. And so uh, if you're thinking about growing Kalanchoes, definitely keep them, you know, as warm as you can. Uh, don't have them cold like I was trying to do, thinking that they would want to be dormant uh, like the cacti. And come to find out that's really just not true. So I think these babies are going to do pretty well. Um, I'm not quite sure about the mom. Uh, I will keep you updated on these to see how they do. And for now, that's really all I have to show you about these uh, Kalanchoe donkey ears. Now this Kalanchoe, I think I mentioned it once in a video on an update um, a long time ago. This was literally the first succulent that I got. Uh, I stopped in a local nursery and I saw the plant growing. It was in a kind of a big pod and the plant itself, the mother plant was huge. And the leaves looked familiar uh, from a plant that my mom used to grow. And I had asked the lady there at the nursery if she knew what it was called. Um, and her answer was she snapped off this little piece. She gave it to me and she says, you know, I'm not really sure. I think it's a Kalanchoe, uh, but take it home and, you know, root it, put it in some dirt and let it grow and uh, see if it's something, you know, that you're thinking that your mom grew. So I did that. Um, it was, gosh, back in September, I believe, of 2017 that I got this. So I brought it home. I let that, you know, cutting that she gave me callus over, planted it, and it did root um, and has grown pretty well ever since. Um, I had this outside, and this is one of the ones that I brought in for the winter. Um, and like the Kalanchoe donkey ears, I mistakenly put this in front of the window as well. And as a result, these leaves have kind of withered up, lost their color, and they're definitely dying. Uh, so this is another one that I've kind of made a mistake on, keeping this close to that cold window. Um, now these leaves are dying. Uh, and you, I can see that it's actually moving up the plant. So I don't know the future of this one. And I don't see any kind of new growth coming off of it. Oh wait, yes I do. There's one in here, um, tiny little one right in there. So it may come back. So what I've done with this one too is I've moved it away from that cold window. I put it up on the grow rack to give it a little bit more light. Um, and the bloom is just absolutely beautiful. Kind of a, um, oh I don't know, like a pink magenta color. Um, I hope it comes through the video the proper color hue. Um, but it's really gorgeous. And so what I'm planning to do after I make this video, when I turn this camera off, I'm actually going to cut this stalk um, and try and reserve, you know, energy to the plant to try and get back to good health um, and not spend its energy on this beautiful bloom. I also read on Kalanchoes, some of them when they flower, that it's a trigger to, you know, produce the seed and then the plant itself dies. Um, you know, after it has produced the seed. And so one of the things you can do that I read is, you know, cut the flower um, and it kind of tells the plant, you know, that you're not at the end of your life. Uh, you need to produce another stalk so that you can make seed. I have another Kalanchoe, um, Longiflora, I believe it is. It's the yellow bloom one that I showed in a past video. Um, and it had a beautiful bloom uh, from the store. I brought it home and it was doing really well. And suddenly I noticed that, you know, the, the more that that bloom stayed and, you know, the petals opened up, um, the leaves started dying back. And so I kind of sacrificed that yellow bloom on the Kalanchoe. I cut it back um, and now the plant has bounced back and looks really well. Um, I just don't really have it in this uh, video to show you, um, but it does look a lot, lot better. And so that's what I'm going to do with this one uh, is just cut this off. Um, and hope that this one comes back as well. So again, if you have Kalanchoes or you're thinking about getting them, don't do what I did and put them, you know, in a cold environment. Uh, they don't like it. <laughs> uh, 
they're from uh, originally I think they're from Madagascar uh, and they're not used to the Arkansas 20 degree 30 degree weather sitting in front of a cold window to try and get cold air in to uh, induce dormancy in the cacti so if you have these you know keep them warm uh, keep air circulating on them and I think you will have better success than uh, doing it the way I did. So that's it for this update on the Haworthia cuspidata, the Kalanchoe donkey ears, and the unknown Kalanchoe there in the back right. And the ones in the back don't look so well. <laughs> the ones in the front look pretty well and I think they're going to survive. So if you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to see more videos. And until the next time, thanks for watching.